Hello fellow crafters! My name is Katerina and I am the founder of Fancy Yarns Australia. This is our fifth episode in our series on how to choose the right yarn for your next project. In this episode, we're embarking on an exciting exploration of texture and fibre blends in the wonderful world of yarn. Get ready to discover how different textures and fibre combinations can elevate your projects to new heights of creativity. Let's dive in. Texture refers to the tactile quality or surface characteristics of a yarn. It adds depth, interest and dimension to your projects, transforming them from ordinary to extraordinary. There are a number of different types of textures in yarn. Let's have a look at them. Smooth yarns have a uniform surface with no bumps or irregularities. They create clean lines and are perfect for showcasing intricate stitch patterns. Slub yarns feature thick and thin sections along the strand, creating irregularities or slubs that add texture and visual interest to your projects. They create a rustic and organic look, perfect for adding character to your creations. Boucle yarns feature loops or curls along the strand, adding a unique texture reminiscent of boucle fabric. They create cozy and visually interesting fabrics. Tweed yarns contain flecks or specks of contrasting colours throughout the strand, mimicking the look of traditional tweed fabric. They add depth and rustic charm to your projects. Eyelash yarns have strands protruding from the main yarn, resembling eyelashes. They create fluffy and whimsical textures, perfect for fun accessories or fur or hair on stuffed toys. Chenille yarns have a velvety texture, resembling the softness of chenille fabric. They create plush and luxurious fabrics, ideal for cuddly blankets and garments. Pom-pom yarns feature small fluffy tufts or pom-poms along the strand, creating a playful and whimsical texture that adds fun and flair to your projects. Flag style yarns have flat ribbon-like flags or strips attached along the strand at intervals, creating a unique texture reminiscent of flags fluttering in the breeze. They add movement and visual interest to your creations. Ladder style yarns have ladder-like rungs or bars spaced along the strand, creating a ladder effect that adds dimension and texture to your projects. They are perfect for adding decorative accents or creating open airy fabrics. Confetti yarns contain small colourful flecks or confetti-like strands scattered throughout and protruding from the main yarn adding pops of colour and texture to your projects. They create vibrant and dynamic fabrics with a festive feel. Ribbon yarns have a flat, ribbon-like structure, adding a smooth and sleek texture to your projects. They are perfect for creating elegant and sophisticated fabrics. There are so many great textures to play with when it comes to yarn. My recommendation for getting started is to choose a patchwork project, like a blanket, in which you can test different textures of yarn. You can also look at mixing different textures of yarn. For example, a smooth yarn can look great with a flag style yarn just to give it a bit of a pop. A ribbon yarn can complement a confetti yarn really well. Now that we've spoken about blending textures, let's discuss blending fibres. Fibre blends are yarns made from a combination of different fibres. Blending fibres allows you to leverage the unique properties of each to create yarns with enhanced characteristics. Some of the advantages of blending fibres include strength and durability, softness and comfort, colour and texture variation. Blending fibres with different strengths can result in a yarn that is stronger and more durable than single fibre yarns. Combining soft fibres like alpaca or cashmere with more robust fibres can create yarns that are both soft and durable. Blending fibres with different colours or textures can result in yarns with unique visual and tactile qualities. Let's have a look at some common fibre blends and their properties. Wool and Silk. This blend combines the warmth and elasticity of wool with a luxurious sheen of silk, creating yarns with a beautiful drape and luster. Cotton and Bamboo. Blending cotton with bamboo results in yarns that are breathable, moisture wicking and soft against the skin. Perfect for summer garments. Acrylic and nylon. This blend combines the affordability and easy care of acrylic with the strength and elasticity of nylon, making it ideal for durable and washable projects. The shawl I'm wearing here today is a beautiful blend of extra fine merino 
and mulberry silk. You can see here from this shawl that there's a beautiful drape and softness to it thanks to the wool, but then a little extra sheen from the silk to give it that something special. Experimenting with different textures and fibre blends opens up endless possibilities for creativity in your fibre arts projects. Whether you're knitting, crocheting, weaving or participating in any other fibre art, don't be afraid to mix and match to achieve the perfect combination for your vision. If you found this episode helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Fancy Yarns Australia YouTube channel for more crafting wisdom. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Fancy Yarns Oz. You can also subscribe to our newsletter on our website at www.fancyyarns.com.au. Please leave a comment below. What is your favourite texture of yarn to work with? In our next episode, we're discussing budget and sustainability when it comes to choosing the right yarn for your next project. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.